Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Just My Opinion podcast. Today we are going to be reacting to an interview Gasha had on the Hall of Fame show by Lunga Darling. So we are going to be reacting to that and before we get to it, so before we talk about it, we are going to watch it together, then we are going to share our reactions. Hi Ambassador. Hello, hello people, it's your boy Ambassador, Ambassador again to win this thing. Okay, so like I said, Gasha was on the Lyunga Darling show titled Hall of Fame on Dash Media and she had a lot of things to say about the Camarilla industry and Gasha is one of the, I would say one, one of the oldest, not by age, I'm not saying she's old by age, I'm saying she, she has been in the industry for longest, she has, yes, she's one of the, the new school, so apart from the Petit Payi, the um, Bebe Manga, the uh, Ben Deka, like those old school people. The new school, for the new school, Gasha is one of the people who has been in the industry the longest. So she had a lot of things to say in this industry that we would all assume she knows a lot about. So let's watch the video, then we're going to react to it. As someone who is in the industry, if a foreigner were to ask you, Gasha, now how Cameroon is a similar industry day, what would you say? I would not say, I said, don't call it an industry. Oh. Yes. To, to, to be able to do something properly, call it as it is. It's a marketplace. You understand now? It's a marketplace. <laughs> you understand? So if you want to work with it, you cannot, you cannot go to work with a market and then be thinking that it's an industry and going with industry energy when it's the market. You are not realistic. You will fail. You go and insult everybody, but you were the one that went calling it an industry when it was still a market. The market yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so why, do, why do you call it a marketplace? I, I call it a marketplace because when I look at the components that should come together for, for something to be, especially artist, for something artistic to be referred to as a, as, as, a, as an industry, in Nova Year Day, it is still built. You understand now? People they still find their way, but it never yet be established. You understand now? I don't know the camera artists from time they day. But I'll be very glad to know. You understand now? Where they touch 20,000 a show. You know, they. You understand me? And for me, that's the base. If you want to say that you're an A list, for, for me, I, I, don't, I don't ask anybody. I don't take money for shows. I don't do shows. Everyone know that. I don't, and I don't take money for shows. If you want me to really be, I'm coming for free. I want to say, when you don't sign me, when you don't sign, say, check. It's 20,000. You understand now? Yes, it's, that's, a, that's a goal. That's why I've not, with this whole five years and that, I don't need chop, cocoa, you look at any man you go for from because that's the thing. And when the, when the way you start is the way you end. Okay. <laughs> you understand? So you just have to chop me cheese. Mm -hmm. You understand? So there's, so there's so many things that when you put together, you cannot call it an industry. So what is an industry then? I don't, I don't make, I don't make industry, first of all, I don't, I don't make the first point. Which of our artists? Eh? Fit for the word toxic, in one now. There are a few. When you look at some of them, you see that dreams are big. Two, which of the feet talks say it won a festival? Besides caress for them, they're not here. All of them, Bishop Bona them, they're not here now. We're talking about Cameroon, yeah. our own marketplace now, yes. The people that can actually, that, that do those industry moves, they're not here. The ones that are amongst us, the mentality, are me, nothing. The, the vision, you know, they, the vision for industry self no day. So you cannot even call it an industry. When you look at it, you look, it, it, it it's manifested in the way in the way they go about everything they do. You understand what I'm saying? Even you just look at you just go and look at only the blog captions, how they caption things on blogs, what it's about mostly, who wore this dress better, stupid, stupid ratchet posts, real things happening, people are not focused on it, only stupid ratchet posts. Then they want to compare to Nigeria. If you, have to, if you look there, you say there's a balance. They talk about everything. There's the classy platforms talking about classy stuff. They give them their spotlight, but yeah, if anything is classy, shit for back step. Everybody knows that noise is trend. Everybody knows that this violence is trend. Everybody knows that this order is trend. Everybody knows. You understand what I'm saying, right? People have to depend 100 people. Nobody can depend on themselves. And an industry is a, is a place where there's room for innovation, new ideas, new creations you understand every day you say new discovery every day you say new creation every day you say a new thing but here they discourage new they don't want new no. they don't want new. So that's, that's one of the that, that's another a, a manifestation if you're coming up with something if you're too different if you're coming up like, now listen you now recently they don't the vibe with some kind of different different kind of vibe them all the manners so until two years ago it was Type like this, everybody knew it. You don't sing in French, I'm not making that, telling you cash. Okay. But you don't know about that. 
if it's easy for to say, say they say they sing for English, it's, it's, a, it's a thing that's in the society. You understand? It's a thing. They talk kids cash, put French there, or you're not going anywhere. And they practice that thing for a very long time, and they realize that it's a one night stand kind of energy because it does not last forever. Yeah. That's, not, that's not industry energy. You understand now? That's not industry. And if you look at it, that's, you look at the people coming up with new things every day. Mm -hmm. And they're allowed to. They're encouraged to. You understand now? Yes. Mm -hmm. the, the, minds, the minds of the stakeholders are different. You know, the, the, the mentality of the they are different. The mentality of the promoters is different. Everything is different. But here we are still in this cate market mentality where everybody, everybody buys a small, small tomato. They put it there. They just want something that they can eat today, feed yeah. their children. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? It's OK for them. They have their one supplier. That one supplier is the one supplier they go to. If that supplier begs the heart, the corner supplier off, all friendly, they don't talk with you again. They go one way. <laughs> okay. That's what Gasha had to say. Basically, she's saying there's no industry and it's a marketplace. That instead of calling it an industry, call it a marketplace. So if you're an investor and you're coming to the scene, don't think you're coming to a business or an industry. You're coming to a marketplace. Before we even go to talk about um, what Gasha said, I, I just feel like so these are so so far. I'm just recently being introduced to this um, show, and three of the interview short clips I've seen that have gone viral have been interviewed about people discussing about whether Cameroon. Um, entertainment industry or is, there, is it a business, is it showbiz? First was Tony Nobody, second was Kosi, then now it's Gasha. First, all I'll say is like, I feel like this is one of like a reoccurring question and it's one of the favorite questions and probably one of the things Gasha said in this video is like, if something is not drama, if something is not um, crazy, people don't aggravate it or people don't watch it, like the classy things don't trend, but the things which are crazy, that's what trends. So I, I think um, this show has realized that, okay, when an artist comes on the platform, either they are reacting to something that somebody has said about the industry and they go in the, like, Kosi went in the very emotional way, or an artist comes and says, there is no industry, people will want to listen to this, people will want to react to this. So I feel like they, are finally, they have realized that this is definitely a topic that people are going to react to. Now, Ambassador, you, you heard what Gasha had to say. What do you think? So I think first and foremost, this is a topic we have dwelled on for quite a while. Uh, for those who have been following Chakara TV over the years, let me put it that way. We have always spoken about the industry, the structures, the value chain, policies and structures to accompany the ads so that it can be monetized, so it can create value, all of those things. So I, I think, in a summary, Gasha was actually touching some of those things, but in a very disorganized way, in a very... So she was not very academic about her presentation as with regards to why she thinks it's not an industry. She touched quite a number of the things which we can expand shit on, and it's, it's going to, 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 to hit particular points with regards to the chaos. First, as you said, I, I really like this show. Uh, if you watch the full thing, because they just pick out the parts which they think are going to be controversial, if you watch the full thing, she was talking about relationship with Nabil, her music um, career thing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I said she was advocating for weed, but it almost sounded like that because she was saying uh, weed, it's, it's like medicine. Weed kind of saved her. He, he, things which people are not supposed to be afraid of, that's what they're afraid of. And the things they should be afraid of, they're not afraid of, something like that. So it almost sounded like she was advocating for weed. That's a topic for, and, and those are some of the things that I say, like, it kind of waters down the quality of her arguments. Because perception also counts in some of those things, how people perceive you. You might be giving very valid arguments, but just because people perceive you like this bamba smoking girl who does not know what she's talking about, but I think she's raising very valid points. Which, at times, in the African society, we need to rise above some of these perceptions and stereotypes 
and then listen to the substance. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we have those stereotypes. Like if I remember when I came back to Cameroon because I had my earrings on, I I felt like people were judging me a lot. So I just took it off because I felt like it was not worth uh, the struggle or the resistance. It was not a very special thing to my personality or to my look. So I was just I took it off. But but still, I think some of those. Th I'm just trying to trash something else before I go into the the whole uh, industry thing because I think we've spoken a lot on that. So she touched a number of those things which are very valid, but she was going all over the place. Also, if you look at Gasha, the person, as you earlier said, she's one of those. When I call Jovi, don't for quite Stanley and or Hempe. For the females, I'll start with Gasha Kakimbe. So it's one of those songs that really hits the urban market. I recall when I first heard it on uh, BBC Africa, and I was like, whoa, the Cameroonian is now on BBC Africa. There are some of those things which are, it's not much, but it gives people a certain amount of hope. I, I, before leaving Cameroon, I really liked entertainment. I was involved with in various sectors, but I kind of just went to further my studies because I felt like this thing is taking me nowhere. Look at the people in front of me. Look at the, this other grand frail has been doing this thing. Yeah, it, it didn't always turn out the best. So I felt like, let me go to my other things in life. But when I was out there and then I saw the way it done for quite heat, I was like, OK, these things are coming up. Same with them, Kakimbe by Gasha. At the time, she was signed with Steven Music. She went on and then uh, won their Freema Awards, had one or two issues with Steven Music, remained in America for some time, came back to Cameroon, ha has tried to come back, but has not really hit the level where she left off at. So I think she knows a thing or two. She might not be presenting in the best way, but I think she knows a thing or two with regards to the industry. Now, with that being said, if she says it's a marketplace and not an industry, yeah. So that's a very basic way to put it, right? Because what, what are you calling a marketplace? A marketplace is usually where people come to buy and sell. I don't know if that's what she's referring to. But in most of their, should I call it adjectives and um, criteria she was using to categorize the entertainment scene in Cameroon as a marketplace, it was more in the direction of the chaos. It was not so much as in the economic criteria to judge a marketplace. It was more in the, the, in the direction of chaos. You know, like a typical marketplace, people coming to buy and sell. Nobody is telling who to sell at what price. Nobody is in control of who is sitting where. Most markets in Cameroon, a typical marketplace is very chaotic. A lot of noise, a lot of people shouting. Who shouts the most? Who has the loudest voice might at times sell more than others would do? He might not have the best quality products. So in most of her, her arguments she was putting forth, I'm just giving my own examples. I'm not saying that's what she was saying. I'm just giving examples as regards to what's the market is. So in most of the examples she was giving, it was in that direction. Yes. When it comes to the chaos, I will agree with her that uh, it's quite a very chaotic scene. Everybody does what they want to. People, how can I say? There's no policy actually guiding people as such. And even if there is, it's not really being enforced. The whole pirating thing goes as it wants to. Every station plays whatever they want to play. Um, artists don't have like any minimum wage or any insurance or any um, retirement benefits. Um, what other thing can we list there? Most of the time, the contracts are not solid. They are not really uh, well thought out, especially in the side of the artist. Um, also, she mentioned the issue of investors, which is very critical to me because I've been a victim of investing huge sums of money and losing them. By huge, I mean according to my own level. A couple of M's thrown out is huge for me. So uh, I, I know what she's talking about. But when she says investors should know that it's a marketplace and not an industry, only very patriotic 
or risk prone people will come and invest in such a place though because everybody wants to invest where they are sure that i'm putting 10 years i'm going to get 100 like this i'm putting 10 years i'll get 50 like this but all the things she has said which is very true is mostly cameroonians who want to see this work but always also plead that the artists should be the most understanding because they stand the most to gain in these things work also they say places which are chaotic and volatile like this if you break through it's going to be the most profitable so also those who are risk prone or who are the city you kill them laos on kerba they can also invest in the industry and if you break through it's going to make you a lot of money but the chances of breaking through too might not be very very likely so i i think some of the things she said she is correct the representation might not be the best but it's very true that the, the entertainment scene in Cameroon is chaotic and um, there's a lot of work to be done. But, but also, I always ask, like, who are those doing the work? They have too many camps which does not even permit them to do the work. Uh, how do they call this guy who says he's Mr. Arrogant? Uh, Wax Day. Wax Day was trying something in a certain direction, trying to mobilize some people. There is the actors, the actors are doing their own thing. The, uh, what's the other guy's name? CY is trying his 80 20 thing there. Um, you have the old school artists, the, the Diangos and the rest, who somehow, I don't say they have hijacked, but most of the money, the resources, the network that really comes to entertainment goes to the old school generation, although they're not really the ones representing the Cameroonian culture to the world, but that they was getting most of the benefits, the old school artists. They are the ones who lead. I think recently somebody, I think it was it Wax Day was going against somebody to lead the Cameroon Music Association. And then they, 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 nobody even, I did not even really know the other guy like that. I mean, like, if you ask me what are his songs, I know him because of the whole music politics thing, but I don't really know him. What are his, which songs does he have? We all eat wow here. I don't know him like that. So I think if they start by uniting, going on the drawing board, identifying what the problems are, and then trying to come up with holistic solutions to all of these problems, is it's going to go a long way. I think, I, I always tell them like, okay, it's just that we are doing these things and we have to talk, but I'm not one to come and talk about the problems for more than, so I, I give 20% of my time to identifying the problem, 80% to trying to solve the problem. So I think a, a lot of talking has been done on the problem where very little has been done on regards to the solution. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, one other thing which she said, which I feel like we should also talk about was the fact that she said, in Nigeria, there is a range of content. There's from the classy to the not classy content to the um, what is far about who has said this, who has said that, then there are the talk shows. I mean, like, I was I, I was watching this Nigerian talk show, I've forgotten um, the title of the talk show, but it's like, it, it features all this, uh, the, every talk show that bring different celebrities from influencers to actresses to musicians and they sit down on the table and they talk about very, like, different topics and it's very classy, it's very stylish and so on. So she was saying um, in the Cameroonian space she that the audience or what people aggravate to is mostly the who is fighting with who, who is that kind of content and then there is no room when you do things that are classy it doesn't trend or things that are important it doesn't trend or people don't talk about it so i would like us to react to that but first let's talk about our sponsor echo.online yeah echo.online once again it's in line with what we are talking about putting the structures in place to make sure that artists can benefit from their art echo online is a site and an app which is adapted to the local needs African artists. You just go on Play Store, you download the app. It has lots of features under construction, but on the site already, you could build your fan base, you could upload your song and sell it. Often we say the power is in your hand. Most of the time, artists have had the challenge of what, how do we get money from the 
online stores, music stores out there in Europe and America. How do people pay us? How do we sell to our core fan base? Most of the time, the people buy those songs are in the diaspora and your core fan base is in Cameroon or in Africa. So with Echo.Online, you could actually get your fans to follow you on Echo.Online and each song you release, you can monetize it by selling directly to your fans. They can pay using mobile money, so it's adapted to the local payment methods. And um, also there are lots of other features to help artists monetize their art, which are under development. And I always use the example of YouTube, where the first users who jumped on board with YouTube became millionaires because they, they had the best customer service, they, they, they adapted things to their favor, the they had the advantage of first come, first serve kind of um, things. And before others could jump on board, they had already built large followings, cashing a lot of endorsement deals, and now they're just watching us scramble for the, the bits and pieces. So most of the time, those who come on board early enough get the best benefits. So jump on echo.online and then see what advantages you can get and feel free to ship those to Chakarati. Yeah, definitely get on Echo the online. It's um it's definitely a platform that you, an upcoming artist or even an established artist you want to be in. You build your following and you know that the following will be notified when you have any new project and you give your fans the opportunity to buy. I remember um down the line we we're talking about the recent Cameroonian movie Lax Loot and we said um Basically, I, I read this article where we were saying, like, we see the trailer, we love the trailer, now we want to watch the movie, where do we watch the movie? So there are fans out there who listen to your song in places, or they say, okay, this person has a, um, is talented, where can I find his music? You want to give your local fans access to this music and for them to be able to support you in whatever way they can. So um, we have been going for a while now, but let's conclude with this. Gasha's interview and what she said. I would like us to react to the fact that she said the range of content is kind of limited. And I, I feel like that was one of the major things she was hitting on. She said that like two, three times. She hit on the point that the range of content is, we all know that what will trend is the not classy content. And when you have classic content or you talk about important topics, nobody wants to listen to that or it doesn't go as viral so most bloggers she was like look at the blog titles it's always something that will make people click and it's always like this person has done this this person said this and stuff so what do you think about that no so i think as as i ended the last in my last um point i was give making we are all part of the problem. Mm -hmm. We are all guilty as charged. She included, me included, you included. That's what we click on. It's not like Cameroonians don't have a diverse um, culture or content to put out there. Mm -hmm. But it's just because two things which I'm going to point directly to. First, we are too divided. Mm -hmm. So Chakara TV will talk about entertainers and they know that if they share Chakara TV is going to bring us some traffic. But they will intentionally watch it but don't just share it. There's that in it, bad belly, for lack of a better word. I want to call it the local Cameroonian word is bad belly. I think even Nigerians use that, which you just in, in, intentionally don't want to see other people shine or you think that are going to outshine you. And in doing that, we are all killing ourselves because Chakara TV blows, Chakara TV shares Gasha again. Gasha becomes bigger and then she shares Chakara TV again. Chakara TV shares, that's how the ecosystem blows up. The once one person sits there, then this one sits there, then that's how the, the industry is stuck. So we are all guilty as charged. I think every, everybody wants to point fingers, but when we zoom in, look into the mirror, zoom into what you are doing, you are going to see some of those factors that are hindering the growth of this industry. Everybody has that feeling of, I'm the star, not you. I will not share your thing. I have this person's phone number for Trace Africa. I will not give you. So that even if I don't yet have a song put out in the market, I'll keep it till I have a song so that you don't go and shine there and now you oppress me. Or when, so that I'll let me shine first and I'll oppress you. There's all of that bad energy in the industry which nobody is going anywhere and nobody will go anywhere no time soon. Mm -hmm. That's one. Two, I think we are a bilingual country 
we are known as Africa in miniature. So if somebody has to have a diverse culture in Africa, it's supposed to be Cameroon. For some reason, there is that exposure which we don't get. As I said, if we as a people don't push our own things, we have all of those things she's talking about, from the, the various arms of uh, media to the diverse genres of music to the comedy, to all of, of those things. But for some reason, we don't have the things to push it out there. Mm -hmm. There, I'm going to look more at those who came before. Those who came before did not necessarily hold the hands of those behind them, and that's how the chain has broken, 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 so there's no connection. Mm -hmm. The Nigerians have that in place. Mm -hmm. So when we are quick to look into the Nigerian industry, let's not only look at the results, but let's also look at the work that was put in to get those results, because that's mm -hmm. what will point us in the right, right direction the most. Mm -hmm. It's not about looking at the results. Everybody can look at beautiful things from afar. Mm -hmm. But if you want to also have those beautiful things, it's in, it's, it's in looking at what is behind the beautiful things, not focusing on the beautiful things. So I think we as an industry have to put in the work, then we have to learn to support each other. If not, we are going nowhere no time soon. Yeah, definitely. That, that um, desire to want to see each other shine and knowing that if one person shines, it's, there's a high chance that I will also shine. Yeah, I, I think that... I, I just, sorry to, to cut you there, I just told you the example of how happy I felt just listening to Gasha's song on BBC Africa. Mm. She did not give me any money, she did not mention my name, I was not part of it, but that just gave me another boost and motivation, like, whoa, a Cameroonian is, and I think on that particular show, I think Tito Valerie was there. Mm. You know, like, when you're listening to things that sound like it's out of this world, and then you hear your own people on it, and you're like, whoa, yeah. So that's some of those things which it's going to motivate me. You don't even know they are motivating me like that. But now, if we all shut down ourselves, then nobody is motivated. Everybody is discouraged. Everybody is against everybody. Then we all fall. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, guys. So um, we have been going for a while. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, we want to know what you think in the comments below. So let us know. React to this video. Thumbs up to this video if you enjoy our content. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification button. And see you guys next time. Bye, guys.